Hey, what is up everybody? Michael back here again and today we're talking about yet another user land exploit for the PlayStation 4 in this instance and that project is called YARP for yet another RenPy PlayStation exploit. Now if we scroll down into the file here, we can see that in the readme it states that this exploit is a user land exploit. Don't expect homebrew enabler level of access. If you're wondering what RenPy is, that is basically just another visual novel type of game. So you can actually go over to RenPy.org and they will tell you about these kind of visual novel games. And it just so happened to be that this game, which is Arcade Spirits, along with A Year of Springs, are in fact part of this RenPy visual novel game list that we are able to exploit. Now, you might be thinking, hmm, doesn't that sound something familiar to the Lua games that we've all been using in the past? They were built using the Artemis engine, another visual novel type of game, which is all of these games that we have been using in the past when we only had Lua as an option. So again, you can kind of wrap this up by thinking, we had Remote Lua Loader for Artemis Engine games. This was the list of those. Now we have RenPy, which is turned into a user land exploit that maybe we can start chaining with a kernel exploit in the future. And I keep saying in the future, but a lot of this is already capable right now. I'm just waiting for official releases to hit. Now, if you do want to go ahead and take advantage of this, you have a couple of options. And the first one is going ahead and buying one of these game discs. Now, I personally bought this title and I did buy the PlayStation 4 version, but you do want to make sure that you are getting this PEGI or PEGI 12 rating on the front cover. That means you've got the correct one. Now, I'm currently still waiting for this to come in, but I did notice that there has been releases now for Arcade Spirits, as well as A Year of Springs, both for the PlayStation 4, and then for the PlayStation 5, there was a recent release of Arcade Spirits, the new challengers for the PlayStation 5. Now, that obviously doesn't work in this instance. You would need to have the PlayStation 4 version so if you do want to follow along with the already jailbroken system, just go ahead and download those. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to our PlayStation 4 and get started. Okay, so back over on my PlayStation 4. Again, in this instance, I am going to use the downloaded version just as a test where we can see it in action. So I am already jailbroken on my 12.02 system here with Gold Hen already running. And then I have went ahead and I have installed the fake package of both Arcade Spirits as well as A Year of Springs. So in order to get started with this, you will need to go ahead and start the game and you will need to create a save game file. So just follow along with my steps and you'll have your save game created in no time. So we're gonna go ahead and start the game. We're going to press X a couple of times here, and we are going to select, let's play fresh. And we'll hit X a couple of times. And right here, at this point, we're gonna hit the options button on our PlayStation 4 controller. And we're gonna go over to where it says save. And then you can see there is page one and I'm just going to select the very first slot here. So we'll press X on that. And there we go. We can see now we have a save game. So at this point, you could just go ahead and come back here and close out of that application because we will not need that any longer. Now, 
you would need to go ahead and get a Apollo save tool installed on your PlayStation 4. In my instance, I already have mine ready to go here. So we'll go ahead and hit start on that. And at this point, go ahead and plug in a USB drive because we're about to export our save game to it. We're going to take the option here for HDD saves. And from here, I'm gonna scroll down to Arcade Spirits and I'm gonna press X on it. I am going to take the option to copy the save game to the USB. And then we're gonna copy that over to our USB zero and it is located in the PS4 slash Apollo folder. Okay, at this point, we can go ahead and switch back over to our PC. Okay, so over on our PC, if we go to PS4 and then go to Apollo, we can see that we have some save data inside of that. And so now what we need to do is we need to come back over to the official project page. We're gonna go over here to releases and we're going to grab the save.zip file here and just go ahead and get that downloaded. Okay, I went ahead and opened up that zip file here and you can see there are a number of different files in here. And then in this other window, I have the USB drive. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these files right here and we are going to just drag and drop them right into the root of this folder and we are going to replace the files in the destination. So once you have that completed, go ahead and unplug your USB drive from your PC and put it back into your PlayStation 4. Okay, so back over in Apollo Save Tool, we're gonna to take the option here for USB saves and we can see that we've already got a save right here. So I'm gonna press X. And what we're going to do is we are going to copy the save game to the hard disk drive. So go ahead and press X on that. And now we have our save game ready to be used. So I'm going to press OK there. Now, obviously, you don't have to use Apollo Save Tool. You could use one of the Discord bots as well that's available or even purchase the PS4 Game Save Wizard Tool. And we are gonna go ahead and we're going to run our game again. So there we go, we've got Arcade Spirits, the new challengers coming up. And this time we're gonna go over to the load screen here. And if you see that little cat, then that means that this is working. And then once we highlight it, we're just gonna press X on this. And right there it goes. And that is normal for it to crash. And that was because the build that I selected was broken, as well as right now, the latest version still doesn't work. But I did want to leave you with a bit of a sneak peek. So if you go into the payloads folder here, you will see that there already is a laps.py. Again, right here, it does state that that is broken, but at least it's interesting to see that's been added as well as there is an updater.py, and what this would allow you to do is to update the game save once it's all working again. So instead of going to Apollo Save Tool, for example, you could just run this updater.py. Now it does give full instructions on how to do that. Basically, you would download the save.zip to your PC from the releases, run the updater.py, or run this other versions for those of you that has a, a 2.x machine. And then you would send the save.zip file to the console and then just press X to exit the game when prompted. And you would always be able to have the latest and greatest save game file. Anyways, tons of developments are happening right now. My next video will absolutely be on Y2JB as I see that that is completely working now with ETA Hen. Anyways, I will release a new video on that very soon. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.